What's up guys, this is Corey. Welcome to CNA Films and Animation. Well, for the month of July, I've had uh, someone request that I review the Harry Potter movies. So, during July, I'm going to tackle two movies per week. And uh, so, I'm going to start off with the first two films. Both films directed by Chris Columbus. Um, these films were pretty much the introduction to the entire series um you know it it sets a tone for a younger audience to get as many people to come see these and you know it just kind of like i just said uh introduce everyone to harry potter uh, especially ones who have not read the books so let's start with the first film the first film was harry potter and the sorcerer's stone to some other people it is also known as harry potter and the philosopher's stone it's still the same thing uh Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone came out in 2001, and, you know, like I said, it was directed by Chris Columbus, and it starred Richard Harris, Maggie Smith, John Hurt, Richard Griffiths, Ian Hart, uh, Alan Rickman, and, of course, uh, Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grintz, and Emma Watson. So, the first film's about uh, Harry Potter. He lives in the uh, underneath the stairs in uh, his aunt and uncle's house. His parents are dead. He doesn't know exactly how they died. And, you know, his uncle and aunt are very cruel to him. Uh, they're, you know, they have a son, uh, you know, and they treat him like ro royalty, and uh, they treat Harry like crap, basically. And, you know, soon, he, you know, letters start getting sent to Harry and you know he's he's wondering you know what's these letters all about and his uncle's like no uh, no letters you're not allowed to read them and soon enough after all the letters become so overabundant they uh, move to this uh, like I uh, remote um, vacation house I guess and that's where Harry discovers that that's where Harry discovers that on his 12th birthday he is actually a wizard, and his parents were wizards, and, uh, you know, he is uh, invited to join the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So, he ends up going, and, uh, you know, the entire film follows, you know, his first year in Hogwarts. He learns spells, he learns how to ride brooms, um, and he makes friends with uh, Ron Weasley, played by Rupert Grintz, and Hermione Granger, played by Emma Watson, and you know they—they're they, uh, kind of an odd team of sorts. Uh, Hermione's you know very intelligent; uh, she knows all her spells. She's top of her class basically. And uh, uh, Ron Weasley, you know he's—he's he's kind of the—I—I uh, I, I won't call him an idiot, but you know he's just not fully there, I guess. And I. Yeah, that's a little bit of an insult. I apologize for that. But, you know, it's it's like Harry's the famous one, uh, Ron's kind of the normal one, and then uh, Hermione is the, you know, super intelligent. And, uh, you know, they all three, you know, build this relationship, their friendship, and, uh, you know, they get into all sorts of different trouble, basically. Uh, you know, some, some of it is... Uh, you know, stuff that they purposely got into. Other times, it's just kind of by coincidence. Um, you know, there's certain rules that these kids have to follow, like, you know, third floor corridors, uh, for strictly forbidden. And, uh, you know, the uh, forbidden forest is also forbidden. Actually, I think it's called the dark forest, but it's still forbidden. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they end up going to the third floor corridor and they start piecing together this mystery of, you know, somebody is, you know, hiding something. And they believe that it is Alan Rickman play, who plays Severus Snape. And, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's the potions person who's head of Slytherin. I know that. But I, I, I get a little confused. But uh, Ian Hart is actually the... Uh, defense of the dark arts professor and he you know he's he's kind of a bumbling uh 
professor. Um, and, you know, it's it's a mystery, basically. You know, who's who's doing what, who's behind who. And, you know, it's up to Harry, Ron, and Hermione to figure it out. In all honesty, I think that the first film is, uh, while it is the one that I would probably watch the least, I do think that it is a fantastic opening to the series. Um, you know, the tone is just right for you to, you know, get immersed in the story and, you know, really feel for these characters. You you really do care about them uh, come the end of the movie. And, you know, it's a very magical movie. I know it's about magic and everything, but that's the best way to describe this film. You know, it's a magical experience, especially the first time you see it. And, you know, like I said, it's a fantastic way to start the entire series. There are some really good performances in this movie, especially from the three main leads, which is uh, from Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grintz, and Emma Watson, especially since they're kids. I felt that they did a fantastic job as child actors, and, you know, it, you know, like I said, it, it really helps pave the way to the, what the entire series is about. And, you know, yes, this one is the tamest of all of these films, uh, it's the most child-friendly, I'll put it that way. Uh, it was rated PG, and, you know, it's it's not as dark. It's very light, uh, it's, it, very light, magical. Um, you know, it, it's just a, a good way to inter introduce the uh, entire series. And so for that, I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10. I think it's a great film. Uh, it's not one that, it's not particularly the one that I would watch the most of the Harry Potter movies. But I do think it is a fantastic introduction. Uh, Christopher, Chris Columbus was a great choice to introduce the magic of Harry Potter. And, you know, it's, and it's one that uh, people are going to remember for a long time. So let's move on to the second movie, uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This one follows Harry and Hermione and uh, Ron. And, you know, Harry is told that something is not right with Hogwarts before he even shows up. You know, don't go to Hogwarts, it's, uh, something bad's gonna happen. And he ends up going to Hogwarts anyway, because that's his home, and, uh, sure enough, bad things are happening. People are being petrified, you know, just completely frozen solid. Um, and, you know, so, something like a Pandora's box is opening, and, you know, it's up to Harry and Hermione and Ron to figure out you know, what is, you know, causing the school to be, uh, uh, become an unsafe environment. And it, it may lie in the Chamber of Secrets. This film was again directed by Chris Columbus, and, you know, many of the actors from the first film return in this one. There's a couple of new faces, including Kenneth Bragnog, who plays, uh, Professor Lockhart, who's the new, um, the new dark arts teacher, who is, uh, he's a celebrity, and you learn some things about him that is, uh, I won't say predictable, but it's, it's, it, it's interesting nonetheless. But, uh, this film is much darker toned than the first film. You know, it, it definitely has a darker edge to it. Uh, the, this film, uh, heavily focuses on Voldemort, who is, quote, the, uh, he who shall not be named. I know I said his name already, but still, hey, I, I'm doing the review. Um, you know, Voldemort is uh, the one who killed Harry Potter's parents, and he attempted to kill Harry himself as a baby, and uh, something happened, and Harry survived. And, you know, it's unclear exactly how he survived until much later in the series. But, you know, he... Nonetheless, he still survived, and he has a scar on his forehead. I probably should have mentioned this in the previous uh, movie, but still. He has a scar on his forehead that's in the shape of a lightning bolt, and, you know, that's how he got his... Uh, he became the one of the most well-known people to, you know, ever live. And by people, I mean wizard. But anyway, um, you know, this one does ha uh, focus on Voldemort a little bit, you don't see him in this film, but, you know, it, it still focuses on, you know, whether he's returning or not, and, you know, what's 
what are the actual secrets to this chamber. Um, you know, like I said, it's a darker film. Uh, it's darker toned. And it works for it. Um, you know, the first film was all light and fluffy and, you know, it introduced everybody. This one, it kind of takes that fluff off and it, you know, pushes it forward to a more serious uh, film. And it, he, uh, Chris Columbus successfully does it. However, I will say that um, this is uh, not exactly one of my favorites of the uh, Harry Potter movies. I do think that it is a solid film. I do think that it is um, a good sequel to the first film because it definitely uh, it, it definitely moves the story forward and it you know brings about a mystery that is interesting and you know keeps your attention. Overall, I would probably give Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets an 8.5. I think it's a great film. It's definitely a good step forward in the series. I, however, I do think that, you know, it, it is a little bit on the long side. Um, they could have cut it down just a tiny bit, but then again, it is based on a book, and you have to include as much as you can in a short amount of time. So, I understand why everything was there, and, you know, I, I shouldn't complain about the length of time, but still, I, it, it does lag, you know, drag a little bit here and there in places. But overall, I do think it's a solid film, and it's, uh, you know, still a good introduction to the entire series. Uh, I, I like that Chris Columbus started with a kind of fluffy film, and then moved to a little bit of a darker one to get yourself prepared for the third and fourth one. So, yeah. Uh, so tell me guys, have you seen Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Or even Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? Uh, if you have, what would you think of them? Did you like them? Did you dis dislike them? Which did you like better of the two? Uh, what were your favorite moments? Who was your favorite character? Uh, comment below, let me know. Love to hear your feedback. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Be sure to check out our other videos. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And as always, I am Corey, and I'll see you guys in the next one.